Hello everyone, welcome back to Edlogo's Mind. This is Temperate Zone of the World 4 Lesson 4, Standard 5th. So you can see here the girl Priya, she is saying this year she has gone different part of India. In summer she went to Uttar Pradesh and it was so hot and in winter it was so cold. Uttar Pradesh in summer it is too hot and it is too cold in winter. And Mumbai rainy season August month in August month she went to Mumbai when it was raining. The weather was cool because it is near the sea area. And here in December month she went to Manali and it was too cold you can see the snow the snow falls on the hills because Manali was in high altitude located on high altitude that's why in December it is winter season and it is rain for uh, snow falls and it is too cold so Weather is the condition of the atmosphere. So, weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a given time and place. That is why we are describing as, the day we are describing how, sunny day, rainy day, winter season, like that we are describing. And the basic factors depend the weather depends on the basic factors what temperature of air precipitation wind atmospheric pressure, pressure cloudiness humidity these all things depends for the weather of any place okay once again say temperature of air precipitation Wind, atmospheric pressure, cloudiness, humidity. And what is climate? Climate of a place is the average weather condition. Average weather condition over a long period of time. Means for a long period when we note down the climate of UP, means uh, hot in summer, cold in winter, very hot in summer and very cold in winter and the rainy season also means throughout the year for a long time 2000, uh, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022 last five years uh, weather condition when we note down then the average weather condition we can say the climate of UP is like that. So, the average weather conditions over a long period of time, that is called climate. Different place climate, different depends, it depends on particular some latitude, altitude, winds, distance from the sea, humidity, ocean, ocean currents, means the distance from the ocean, the place, where is the place, how long, from sea, how far from sea. So all this depends. The uh, climate of any place, it depends on latitude, altitude, winds. Latitude means the place is situated which portion, northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere. Means suppose here it is India and uh, if I am talking about Uttar Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh is here. So, where is Uttar Pradesh? Northern Hemisphere of Equator or Southern Hemisphere? So, all this depends the weather. And altitude also. UP is which place? On Himalayan range or on Northern Plains or near the Ganga River. So, that is also depend. Humidity of the place. Near the ocean, the place is situated near the ocean or not, like coastal area or not. 
coastal area means near the ocean so all these factors are dependent for telling any place the climate of any place okay now you can say see gulmarg is a popular hill station it is in kashmir so ludhiana and shimla are the same distance from the equator but shimla is cold while ludhiana is hot in summer can you tell the reason shimla is located on 2150 meter above the sea level means shimla's altitude is higher so that's why shimla is cool place and ludhiana is only 250 meters above the sea level that's why ludhiana is not cold not because altitude is not no high like that gulmarg also located on a high place in jammu kashmir kashmir so it is high altitude that's why it is a hill station and it is cold region because of its altitude now direction of the winds winds affect of a place they blow to winds coming from the hot areas increase the temperature of the place they blow to while winds coming from the cold areas lower the temperature of the place they blow to means if winds come uh, from uh, cold area then the uh, breeze means the air is cool and if wind comes from the uh, hot area then the air will be hot the climate will be hot now distance from the sea that is sea breeze and land breeze okay now we will explain you that sea breeze and land breeze what is sea breeze and land breeze you can see this first of all you should know the uh, rule of the air you should know that one when air get uh, warm when air get warm that is the common character of air when warm gets uh, air gets warm it goes up it is a normal character of the air in your house also when surface area the air gets hot then through the exhaust fan in your Uh, kitchen or through the chimney it goes up and vent through the ventilator it goes out of the house and the cool air from the windows through the windows come and occupy the blank space of your house of of your room so like this this is the common um, common uh, rule of the air the character of the air that when air gets warm it goes up it goes up warm air goes up high so this character also apply here land breeze at night what happen this is the land and this is the sea at night what happen when uh, this uh, night there is no sun night there is no sun so the land get cools very soon and up uh, here up above the land it is the air is also too cool okay and the sea water is comparatively hot and above the sea water the air is comparatively hot so that hot air tends to go high up and the space is blank then the comparatively cold air comes and occupy this space this circle continuous going on and that is called land breeze just opposite when the day time day time when sun comes because of the heat of the sun the land gets hot and just above the land area the air also got hot and hot air goes up 
hot year rises up normal character of the year and this space become vacant then this cold the sea is cool water sea is having cool water and above the sea water the year is cold cooler than the land uh, year and this cool year goes and occupy this vacant place this circle is going on that is called sea breeze so day time sand land hot and year goes up this way and night time land cool sea year hot goes up and this circle happens so be clear be clear day time land hot then automatically you will remember the another one so i hope you uh, like the video and it is helpful to you so if it is helpful to you please like the video and if you are still new in this channel not subscribed so please do subscribe thank you very much